Welcome to Simply Kendrick. Hey, I know y'all see the Kansas City Chiefs shirt I have on, but listen, I am a Dallas Cowboys fan. All right, now that we got this out the way, hey, today we're cooking up pot roast. Hey, before we get into this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit that notification, and share this video. Let's get it, let's go. All right, guys, let me introduce you to our ingredients. I have my three pound, uh, three pounds of chuck roast. All right, I have a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. I have a salt. I have a tablespoon of the Montreal steak seasoning that I'll be adding today. We got our black pepper. I have my thyme, rosemary. I have a uh, two teaspoons of my W sauce. I have a uh, got the better than bouillon beef flavor. I'm going to be using about a nice tablespoon help in the back. We got our uh, petite um, gold potatoes, petite red potatoes. We have our red onions, we have our tomato paste, we have our garlic that we'll be using, about five of those cloves. We have our onion, we have our beef broth, we have our red wine that we'll be using today. We have our oil, celery, and carrots. Hey, these all the ingredients we'll be using. A real delicious and simple roast that we'll be cooking up today. Stay with me, let's go. All right, guys, hey, the first thing I like to do is go ahead and salt our roast down. If you notice, I like to thread my roast. Um, thread it down because I like it to stay together uh, and slicing it when it's well done. And uh, just be generous with them. Uh, we're gonna salt it down and then we're gonna allow it to get room temperature. And then we will start our cooking process. All right, guys, at this time, you want to go ahead and preheat your oven at 300 degrees. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and finish seasoning our roast. I'm going with the Montreal steak seasoning and the black pepper. You want to make sure it's seasoned on all sides. Well coated. And then we, while we're doing this, we're going to go ahead and get our Dutch oven prepared and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started and get ready to shear our roast. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and add a little of oil to our Dutch oven because what we're gonna do is pretty much create a nice shear to our roast. Then we're just gonna submerge it. Allow it to cook about three to four minutes on each side for a nice shear and continue our process. All right, guys, at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and remove our roast. Beautiful shear. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and add about a tablespoon of our tomato paste and a nice helping of our better than bouillon. Then we're going to go ahead and add our garlic, a little onion, we're going to add about two third cups of our red wine. W sauce. Just gonna let this just cook down just like that. Let it get to a nice boil. Let the alcohol cook down. Then we're gonna add our roast back up to the pot. Add our beef broth. Just enough to not to submerge the roast. So roughly about three, three and a half cups. Add our herbs and our red pepper flakes. We're gonna let this cook at 300 degrees for about two and a half hours and we'll come back, add our vegetables. 
All right, guys, we almost there on our timer, but I'm gonna go ahead and take our roast out. Set it to a side. And what I like to do is go ahead and add my vegetables in. My potatoes, carrots, and then I'm gonna let my roast rest on top. And we're gonna let this cook for another hour. All right guys, we just took our roast out and we're gonna place it in our pan. We're gonna allow our roast to rest. And we're gonna take our vegetables and then we're gonna strain our vegetables, keeping only the liquids. And uh, we're gonna start our gravy. All right guys, we got our vegetables and our strainer. And now we're just gonna pour the liquid back in, bring it to a boil, add a slurry. And uh, then we're gonna thicken this gravy up and we're gonna have ourselves some gravy. Okay guys, we got our liquid back to a boil. And then we're gonna just add our slurry, which is one part cornstarch and one part cold water. And you wanna just keep stirring, y'all. Just keep stirring. And then it will thicken up, just like that. Just keep stirring. Real simple and easy. All right, guys, our gr gravy is right. Look how, look how gorgeous this is. All right, hey, we're gonna get ready to slice our roast beef and uh, it's time to plate up. All right, guys, we got our roast nice and slight, uh, sliced and plated up. So now all we have to do is just come in and add this delicious gravy that we made. Look how gorgeous this look. Absolutely amazing. Get it over some of these vegetables. And it's time to, it's time to eat up. Hey, it's time for a taste test. All right, guys, it's the moment of truth. Our taste test, simple and delicious pot roast. Hey, this is delicious. Get some of these vegetables. Mm -hmm. Well seasoned. That combination is amazing. Gosh, I can't tell you. Hey, I'm ready to eat. Let me get you guys out of here. Hey, thank you for joining Simply Kendrick. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification and share this video. As always, go Cowboys. Hey, spread love, cook out.